Yeah, it'd be like blowing up Vatican City. You know, if you're Jewish, it would be like uh, taking out the Western Wall in Jerusalem. You know, I mean, you're taking out a spiritual place of a native people. You know, and that's always a shame. It's it's very un 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 couth to go do something of, of that nature to uh, someone that's sacred place. It'd be like us going to to somewhere in Europe and blowing up a church. You know, it's just it's not. <laughs> to, to get something underneath it that's not really even there. <laughs> they didn't destroy the whole rock. There's still a lot of it left, but they didn't find any gold. And it was just too much work, so they abandoned that whole idea. But the rock remains, the eye of God. What they did to it is, is just, it's kind of sad. They blew up that rock, and they blew up a sacred site. The coyote grabbed the heart, ran into those mountains, and where he went and the, the blood dropped on the mountains, it turned those mountains red. And you'll still see those around Baldwin Lake. When you see those mountains, there's pigments of red that are there, and that's from the blood of, of um, Kruktut. And during this time, also, the cremation took place. The Apuanit, the, the eyes uh, of, uh, of Kruktut flew out of this cremation and landed um, into the mountain and became this white quartz rock that was there. And that became the um, God's eye. People refer to it today as God's eye, but it's the Apuanit. Usually when I talk about the eye of God to someone, they're completely dumbfounded and, and um, it's, it's surprised and, and uh, enchanted. They want to know more. They want to go see the eye of God. They want to touch the eye of God. Uh, there may, there uh, may even be some feeling of some sort of uh, uh, energy being generated from that spot. The militia wasn't stopping to ask if you were Serrano or, or Paiute or whatever. It was when you ran into Indian people, you are basically sh shot on sight. Um, that one braggart was there and said that, you know, he was bragging that he killed two Indians with one bullet. That he shot a, um, a woman and she was pregnant and killed a baby inside. And when asked, why did you do that? And he said, because nits make lice. Yeah, everybody kept moving east across the mountain because all the good stuff to the west had been taken. And, uh, you know, they saw this outcropping of quartz and miners know if you see quartz, y y there could be gold there. Gold always occurs with quartz. And uh, yeah, a couple of miners drilled some holes in it and dynamited it and found nothing. And that was the end of the Eye of God. I do a lot of ceremony on the lands up here to help clear that. Um, clearing it meaning there's a lot of residual energy that's left like footprints um, from people from times long ago and even from today. So by constantly working on the lands, whether it be through intention and prayer or whether it be physically going on the land, doing ceremony, singing, drumming, using Native American ceremony instruments such as sage, um, where you burn that to help clear the atmosphere and ask for the prayers to be answered that the land be cleared. I think it's where, um, you know, you can basically sort of picture God in your mind, sort of like that. I don't really know. But I think it's something like that, where when you pray, you can sort of see God and then ask him for that one wish. Desecrated sites are often closer to home than we realize. I discovered one on my doorstep. This is its story. Mm -hmm.